Hello everyone, I am Evelyn and welcome back to our garden. In today's video, I'm going to give you an April 2024 front yard garden tour. Just a reminder that in this video, I only have few flowers that are in bloom and some of the plants I get rid of from last year. And I'm trying to be quite selective of the plants that will grow in my garden. I hope you like this video. We're going to start off here in our fairy garden. There's only a few changes in this fairy garden. I took out one of the fairy house and added the Supertunia Vista bubblegum. And then I added small succulents. The fairy and the fairy house color faded. So I'm still contemplating whether or not I should add in colors to them or just leave them be. The door of the fairy house is also broken. I may as well leave it like that. And this is the other fairy house. I added the home sweet home tag or sign. I added this succulent right here to the side. I moved things around here. See, there's one fairy there and there's another fairy. So what I do is I move these houses around and so are the fairies. I added this apple small fairy house and also this beautiful flower. That one right there is temporary. This is my camellia. No flowers, simply because it's on its vegetative stage. The one right there is also my other fairy house. There's a mushroom there and also succulents. This is my Supertunia Vista bubblegum. It has more leaves than flowers. And we're going to move here to the other side. This is my rose, which to be honest with you, I have no idea what's the name of the rose. On this side garden here, this is a mess. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is a mess. I don't even know what I want to grow in this garden. So some of those plants were from last year. But I'm planning to take it out and plant more stuff there. Probably some Rebecca. And right in this corner here, I have my camellias, which is also on its vegetative stage. These are camellia japonicas, by the way. That is Bab Hope. This one right here is my Monstera Deliciosa. I pruned it last week, took out all the old leaves, hoping to get more new leaves. In this raised garden bed, I grew dahlias here last year. Unfortunately, the dahlias didn't grow well simply because the soil is too compact. So that's one thing I have to fix this year. As of now, it's a hot mess simply because I don't like to dig into the soil when it always rain because it's a bit mushy and muddy. And this beauty right here is the Camellia japonica. Unfortunately, I am not aware of the specific variety of this japonica simply because it's been here from the time we moved into this house. The flower is beautiful though. So that's one good thing about it. Due to too much rain and wet roots for a long time, the flowers do not stay long on its stem or branch and it just fall on the ground. Actually, I noticed that the flower this year is a bit smaller than last year. That one right there is also a rose that I am not aware of the variety since that's also grown since we move in here. This is my Camellia japonica. It's on its vegetative stage. If you notice a lot of new leaves 
and branches. This one is also my camellia. This is Kanjiro camellia. It's getting taller. This one right here is my salvia. And right to the corner there is my dichondria or silver falls. This is also a Camellia japonica right here. I pruned this hard last year and it took it a year to start growing better. So it has a lot of new leaves as well. The branches or the stems are smaller. It's still growing. It's trying to give me some flowers, even though it's on its vegetative stage. But eventually I'm going to take off these flowers because I want this camellia to focus on producing newer leaves and also branches. Right behind that is my Australian tree fern. And this beauty right here is Inca Batavia Peruvian Lily. These flowers spring, summer, and sometimes early fall. It all depends on its mood, I guess. We tried to clean up here yesterday. This is my sal salvia. Starting to give me some flower buds. This one right here, to be honest with you, I don't know what is this. This just grow in this pot. I did not plant it. I'm not too sure if it was from last year. It's a volunteer plant. Another camellia right there, camellia japonica, which also I pruned last year as well. I'm trying to understand the growth habit of camellia. So I'm trying to do different things with them. This is my wheelbarrow. This is Supertunia Vista bubblegum. A lot of these are. And I think that's a salvia of some sort. I'm not too sure what variety would it be. But well, this one is beautiful. I'm trying not to do anything about them right now. I just let them grow the way they wanted to. This one right here is my canna lily. This is, I believe, Cleopatra. But Cleopatra is somewhat funny. The foliage is variegated. Let's compare the foliage right now. So these are the variegated foliages of Cleopatra. This canna lily right here, the leaves are similar to the red velvet canna lily right here on the side. I am not too sure what's going on with this. This one is an empty pot. These are my roses. So these are different roses right here. They have some flower buds on them right there. So this is a combination of hybrid hybrid tea rose, shrub rose. There's some flower buds and also presence of aphids. This one I have to cut it down simply because this was growing tall, only one cane. So I had to cut it down to promote more lateral growth. I believe these ones are my David Austin Beirut Rose. It has flower buds now, which is good. That's my Robenza Cosmos there. And also with uh, David Austin Rose. This is my salvia. Start to give me some flowers. It's growing a bit slow this time. 
and also there's a presence of snail. And this is also a David Austin rose right here. This is a Beirut rose and my Robenza Cosmos. So I do believe I purchased three Beirut roses from David Austin. This is in replacement to the ones that I lost from last year. I do believe this one is Lady of Charlotte, Beirut Rose. One of this is Princess Alexandra of Kent and also Bosco Bell. I'm trying to take care of them in a different way this time and see if they will survive in the container. It has presence of powdery mildew. So I have to take care of this one. 